Absolutely. And it's come in relatively on time. Now, Annick, last night, the torch came in with Lewis Denny, our 16-year-old runner there, who was fantastic, did a double shift on the run, brought it in bang on time. But I have to say, this is slightly more complicated. This is Here it. Go. Stand by. Wow. <laughs> Hold your breath. It's just like Everest, where you can do it. Spirit of Endeavour, something I'm not sure what he's saying. We'll find out later, but I think he's ready to go. Here we go. What? And that flame is still very much alive. That was fantastic. The crowd were cheering here. Absolutely amazing. So he's going to unhook himself now. And obviously the Boy Scouts will be well impressed with that. And hopefully they'll get to have a word or two with their hero before he has to obviously get the torch on its way. I know, look. He was probably the coolest Chief Scout ever, even before that. And now, you know, his reputation will know no bounds. Um, but I'm sure uh, the designers of the torch, the manufacturers of the torch, are very relieved to see, to see that flame still going because he was zipping down at, at a pretty high pace. And he's hoisted it aloft there just to test it even further. And it'll now be passed on to Jane Wood. There are the scouts there, I believe, soon to meet, to meet Bear. But it'll be passed on to Jane Wood, who's the penultimate torchbearer at this evening's proceedings. And she's a very talented young local girl. She certainly is. A member of Gates at Harriers, keen runner, I think, uh, to county standards. Uh, head girl at Cardinal Hume School in Gates. She's actually Gateshead Council's uh, nomination uh, for the torch relay as it comes in on the Gateshead side. And a big advocate of... Uh, sport for girls as well so well done Jane Wood should be waiting anxiously now for her moment I mean how on earth do you follow that that's quite a quite a big challenge for a young girl but I'm sure she'll carry it off